Hello, welcome to the section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to get our practice with calculating the standard deviation, which we've talked about before in the last lesson. Uh, so just to remind yourself, this is what we've written down before. This is the sample standard deviation. This is the population standard deviation. The only real difference between the two is you have the number of, of elements in your population down here for the population standard deviation, but you subtract one before doing the calculation if you're dealing with a sample. Um, everything else is cosmetic. The symbol here is just a different symbol. The symbol here is a different symbol, but they both represent the mean, right? So let's go in and do one of these guys for real. Let's say, let's calculate, let's find the population standard deviation. That's what STD means. It means standard deviation. So in this particular case, we might have a data set, which would be the uh, age of people in a room. And in this case, let's just pretend that the population is everybody in this room. I mean, I know that's not practical, that's not typically what you're doing in real life, but let's just pretend that uh, the ages of these people are actually the, um, the uh, entire population of everybody we care about. And so that would be five, six, three, five, seven, seven, eight and 25. So this is everybody in the room, that's the entire population of everybody we care about. It'll tell you what type of population to calculate, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, what we want to do first is we want to write down what we're trying to find to remind ourselves. The standard deviation, right, is the square root of the sum of each individual data point minus the, sample, the uh, population mean, because we're talking about population, divided by n. Right, which is the number of people in the population, and we have a square here because we have to square each difference like we always do. So the first thing we want to do, and I'll do it in red over here, is we want to find out what is the actual population mean. So we add everything together. 5 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 25. So I had to continue on the next line. We divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what we get uh, when we do that is 66 on the top and 8 on the bottom. So we get 8.25. So the population mean of everybody here, if you kind of look at what's in the middle, you get 8.25. You have lots of data points down below 8, but this 25 here kind of pushes the average value up a little bit, and that's why it kind of works out that way. Now, the way I've been showing you before to do this calculation is to write it all out with all the parentheses and all the squaring. And that's great, I wanted to show you how to do that. But really when you have a large amount of data points like this, it can be very helpful to kind of write it in a table form. So you'll see that in your book a lot typically and I wanna just kind of do it that way at least once to show you what I'm talking about. So the way you might see it done, the way it's convenient to do is you, you might wanna write your data down again. So your data is five, six, three, five, seven, seven, eight, and 25. So that's my data. And then for this calculation, what I'm gonna end up having to do is take the data point minus the mean, and then after I do that, I'm gonna square it, and then after I do that, I'm gonna add everything up. And so the, the innermost thing I need to do would be to find this minus the mean. So I create another uh, part in the table just to calculate the subtraction for every data point in my list. So what I'm going to get is for every single data point, let me go ahead and I'll just do it in blue, I'll do it in blue. Uh, 